All right, going to try to pump out a quick tutorial here on using the Merrimax uh, gutter with these new end caps I made to make a grow system, you know, for growing either microgreens, hydroponics, seedlings, propagation, etc. All right, so let's head over to the Home Depot website and see the cost of these gutters. So it is 12.28. They have them in stock for a 10-foot piece, two by three inch. A Merrimax downspout gutter. Again, that is $12.28. Now let's go take a look over at Lowe's and see if they got any in stock. So type it in the search here. Two inch by three inch. Merrimax. And they do have it in stock. Um, it's $14.28, so it's $2 more at Lowe's than at Home Depot, which is $12.28, and that's here in Southern California. But we can go, we can look back in the future and see uh, if he's gone up or gone down. Today is uh, July 12, 2022. Um, we got all this inflation going on, so be interesting to see what they cost in the six months. All right, I have this 27 inch piece of a downspout that I'm gonna be using to make my mini grow system here. So again, it's 27 inches. I'll measure to the middle, which is 13 and a half. I'll drill my first hole, measure four inches over, drill another hole, measure four inches over and drill another hole. But really you can change the uh, spacing to whatever you need. I just prefer the four inches for uh, the seedlings. It works for me. All right, now I'm gonna drill the holes with uh, my Makita drill with this two inch hole bit, which you can uh, get at Home Depot. As you can see here, this is the bit I got, it's like 1897. And the uh, diameter of it is uh, two inches. And you could probably find a cheaper bit either at Harbor Freight or Amazon, check it. All right, I'm gonna start drilling my holes here. Drill spinning clockwise. Gonna put the drill bit on my markings. Start drilling the hole. I keep it in the clockwise position. And I turn it in reverse and kind of swivel it around so uh, the caps pop out. Just repeat the process. First drill, it around, and the cap pops out. And I found this way to be the best as the little plastic discs don't get stuck up in my drill as it's a pain to get out. They get stuck on the end and you can just pull them off. Alright, let's witness my super fast drilling ability here. Man, I made quick work of that. All right, on to the next step where we are going to apply a bead of silicone and fill up the groove in the end cap. Just go all the way around it, making sure that you fill silicone into the groove. And after you filled up the grooves, just close your silicone. Then from here, I just use a plastic spatula and just push the silicone into the groove. And you can see anywhere that I see a low spot, I'll fill it, making sure that the groove is completely filled uniformly. And by using the plastic spatula, you can see it makes it really easy to wipe off any of the uh, excess silicone and it allows you to you know, fill in any gaps or low spots without getting it all over your hands. It's looking pretty good. It looks like it's ready to be inserted on the end of the downspout. Just place the uh, end cap on a flat surface and then grab your downspout and just push it down. You'll hear it snap in. Now inspect the groove just to make sure that silicone is filled all the way to the top. 
you can use your finger the spatula and just make sure that it's uniformly filled in that groove Inspect the groove and see if you have any low spots and if you require any additional silicone. If you do, you could either wipe it off your spatula, put it on your finger, and just apply in the low spots that you see. It's no problem, this can be done after. If everything looks good, you can spray some glass cleaner on there. That'll give you an ultra smooth finish as it doesn't stick to your finger and it wipes off any of the excess that remains. So here I'm just wiping off the excess and it should be good to go with the watertight seal. All right, let's use my uh, super speed powers again. After you're done, I would set it up on some wood blocks to take the uh, pressure off the end caps. Also I'm using Advanced Silicone 2. Um, it's supposed to be stronger. It's supposed to start curing in about 30 minutes. Uh, I'll pull up the Home Depot website to see the exact tube that I'm using. Alright, so we're over at the Home Depot website and you can see here's the silicone that I'm using. It's called GE Advanced Silicone, 100% waterproof. Um, it has a couple added benefits than the regular silicone one. It's got like a 10 year mold free, it's got a 30 minute rain ready so it starts curing much quicker. It says 40% more flexible and 5 times stronger adhesion. So again, that's what I'm using. It's $11.98 compared to the regular silicone one which is a $9.98. All right, so we're done here. It's late. We're just going to let this thing cure overnight and take these two hoodlums to, to bed. Sit, girl. Shake. Oh, yeah. Good girl. There you go. There's your treat. Hey, what's up, Betty? What do you want? You got the rough life? All right, guys. Let's wrap it up. We're going to hit the sack. And we'll come back tomorrow morning. All right, that was a quick 10 hours, so we're back. There's Nora. There's Belle. There's Betty. All right, let's go check out this advanced silicone and see how it dried up. So it's been about 12 hours. And we'll check it out. Yep, feels good. We're going to go fill this bad boy with the water and test it out and make sure it ain't leaking. Hey Nora, what are you doing? Sit girl. Good girl. You're learning. Alright, we just filled up the rain gutter with some water and then we'll let it sit for a couple hours and check, make sure it's got no leaks. As you can see, there's nothing leaking after a couple hours. So we filled this up 12 hours after uh, applying the silicone with no issue. All right, well here's my setup that I came up with. Um, I, I use the three ounce cups, make a little hole in the bottom of the cup and then fill with perlite and then that's my wick. And I can fill the gutter to the top and then it wicks up into a nine ounce solo cup that has soil in there and a plant. I mean, you could have microgreens, whatever you want. I pulled these off one of the other gutters, but these have been growing on a similar gutter. But you can see how good they grow. The 
beauty about this system is you just got to make sure that the reservoir's got water, nutrients, and everything else is on autopilot. It makes it easy. So if you want to make your own downspout grow system, please visit my Etsy store online where you can purchase the uh, end caps. The end caps are all made by me, Mr. Rick Estrada. So go check it out. I'm offering them at an affordable price. You can't beat it. If you're interested, I'll post the link in the description below with the link to the Etsy store.